Welcome to Relay. Hi, it's podcast time. I'm David, that's Shiver, that's Nakara, that's Jake, we're Relay, we do a podcast that it is time for, welcome, hi, nice to see you, really pleased you could join us for this podcast for which it is time. Hi. Fuck that was that low was, effort. That was, that was exactly great. what I expected. That's great. Hi. 100%. Exactly what I expected. Can I just say this week now presented in Tasmanian Devil. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Did we, did we secure the rights for that? Hi. You can't patent an animal. You can try. It is Disney. Yep. <laughs> no, Hi. Tasmanian Devil was Warner Brothers. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're it's right. Not owned, it's not all owned by Disney yet? No. Not yet. Okay. Uh, it. it's, it's, it's like a, it's a dueling match between Disney and AT&T right now. Hi. AT and T bought ask, WB so Are you and being HBO? serious, Bob? Because I'd be really gutted if I did actually genuinely miss out on seeing hello in person to you. Hi. Another one on the list of David. Hi. Stop it. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Hi. Yeah, There's... it's. Uh, so I'm sure you've noticed a few changes around here. Um. Normally, Jake is on top and what? Nakara is on the bottom. But. No comment. I mean. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta switch it up, you know? Right? Look! Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm wearing... you know, Tweeb. Look, you know. Look, I'm wearing a bow tie. Yeah. You see it? Hey, see you did. When, did the last time you wore a bow tie was like. A year ago. Yeah. 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 You look uh, a little disheveled there, my friend. Miles, uh, that's just <laughs> that's just how it works, dude. Yeah, me too. But no. Do we have a content warning on our stream? I don't know if we do. I don't we know if we do. We probably should. We probably should. <laughs> I, <laughs> <We don't. laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't know if I know how to turn one on. I mean, I can figure that out. I think it's in the dashboard. It's in the dashboard somewhere. This hazy, juicy New England style Ugh. IPA boasts Ooh. a solid bitterness with fruity flavors and aromas of citrus, grapefruit, That's me. and stone fruit. That's me, with... hazy and juicy. <laughs> hazy and juicy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is me. Gentlemen, start Hello, your engines. Welcome. What's stone fruit like? Uh, I have no granite. I have no pomegranate. I'm looking at it. I'm looking pomegranate. at it. Pomegranate. Stone fruit. Pomegranate. Stone fruit. Pomegranate? Uh, a fruit. No, okay. Stone fruit is actually a group of fruit. It's a fruit yeah, with like... flesh or pulp, including a stone, such as a peach, a plum, or. Why don't they just say peaches? It has hints of peach. But maybe it also has pomegranate. Pomegranate. Pommy? Granite. <laughs> Pommy granite. Pommy? Stone fruit. Stone. <laughs> granite. Stone. Ha 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 ha. Avocado. Uh, Nakara, welcome home. Welcome Wait, back. Where am I? Oh, thanks. How uh, how was your trip? To the U of the K of the A of the C uh, of the two. UKC two? Hmm. United Kingdom of Corporate Twins? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh my trip was fantastic and hazy. I you know, the whole jet lag thing is fun. Especially when you're only there for a week. Because <laughs> then you get to do it both ways in a week. Like, just get sort of into it, and jet lag goes away, and then you come back, and it happens all over again. <clears throat> um, I had a great time at CitizenCon, and I had a great time hanging out with Shiver. Um, and Flint, and Triangularity, and it was good. And Sunjammer! 
Sunjammer and me had a great time. So at, uh, we had a great time at uh, CitizenCon. I will be there next year, probably. If are you it's going in to? LA. Are you going to pet the ice sculpture next year? Yeah. Uh, I've for... I've already started uh, in talks with uh, Mrs. Harris to leave the children and Ooh. make our way down. Only a year. Hey, that's it. Just. We're done. Uh, by, by train. We're probably, <laughs> we're, we're probably going to do Disney. By train? That'll take you like four uh, weeks. It's three days by, by train. train. It's three days by train. My oh, dude. You're gonna you could be life, there buddy. in six hours. Six hours of death and terror and certain doom or three Sir. days of comfort and Sir, you are train from Canada. food. You are from Canada. Uh, there are certain things that you can purchase to assist with your trip. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, but then you're landing in the U.S. and they might, like, you know, stick a cow prod in unfortunate places if you did that. I mean, I'm, I'm so okay with no, going now. you're landing they in finally... California. Yeah, it's yeah, it okay there. matter federal, federal laws. But they federal finally California? they finally said that the, the TSA can't automatically search you if you're from Canada. Yeah, your phone. Which they was... can't. Yeah. They can't automatically search, which is great. I'm so happy. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's talk CitizenCon. Hey, it was good. Uh, uh, yeah. It was almost bad until the last two things. We're going to go around. Wait, what? We're going to go around. Not from, not from somebody who was there. We're, end, we're ending with Nakara. Now, All the panels I wanted to see were not broadcast. Yeah, keep in <laughs> mind. Uh, actually, that's going to be a good question. Nakara, which panels did you see? I was on the main stage the whole time. The whole time. So you've the seen the time. same stuff as we have. Yeah. Uh, Flint. Flint saw a lot of stuff in the other stage. He okay. was over there for most of it. Um, so. Yes, I was starting, on the main stage the whole time. Starting with Shiver. I know you didn't catch all of it, but Shiver, what were your thoughts? I liked the bit where when I got home, I got in the shower and I felt really refreshed after. And then I went to bed that night and I slept like a fucking log. I don't know why that required a weird accent. I don't know either. <laughs> that was... <laughs> but I'll take it. I don't know. The bit, the bit I caught when I came back home and watched it with you, I was just like, I, I, want, I, I don't know what time it is. I don't know what the smell, the color I'm smelling <laughs> is. I was just lost and out you of were, it. And, you were out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I want the fucking panels just as much as everybody else. <laughs> I'm, I, I hear the Carrick was revealed. Yes. And yeah, I most of it. Dreaming. Watched uh, the Carrick commercial a couple hundred times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jake, you joined uh, me. You joined me in uh, sleepless depravity. What were your thoughts? Good Lord, that was brutal. That was rough. Um. Oh, you're telling me I had to get up an hour earlier than you, sir. Yes. I had a wait I had a wake Jake, up at four. Jake, cry me a freaking river. <laughs> I have a baby that I was looking oh. after that night. Cry me cr just just I want the Nile what out of both of your eye holes. What you're what you're saying is is that you're already used to being sleep deprived where I was not. Therefore, I have the greater <laughs> challenge the in greater waking good. up. Uh, anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed the stream, uh, mostly the last uh, two hours of it. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, all the panels that I wanted to see were not on the main stage. So. So you're still waiting for them? Yeah. Yeah, like I want to see I want to see that prison. I want to see the the ship stuff. What I've heard about the prison stuff is well and truly spectacular. They're I'm excited. Going, they're 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 swinging for the fences with that gameplay. I I know yeah. most of the the con. I was like, okay, this is cool. The intro stuff was like, eh. The Carrick was like, eh. Um, most of the panels honestly were, eh. There was a lot of wasted time with, in, in my opinion, there was a lot of wasted time. Are you time. guys too tired to actually pay attention to what was going on? I, li I no, liked no. it. It was fine. 
But I'm saying it was just a big long ATV up until the last two hours yeah. of that. I mean thing. the the lore oh, set. Are you, are you are you including Tony Zervek in that? No. Yes. In, oh, in the no. last two oh, hours. Oh, in the last two hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like yeah. like the. Yeah, that was in, insane. Like <laughs> mind blowingly insane. Like the future of this video game. It's happening in front of us. Yeah. We see the the light at the end of the tunnel. There it is. The, like the the whole missions generating in real time thing that they've been t taunting us with for like a half a decade is finally happening. Yeah. So the... everyone else saw that. I wasn't just really out of it when Tony <laughs> Zed was. No. I, no. Tony Zed started talking, and it was just the man is a genius and brilliant, and it's just like this. My my problem is I need to rewatch it because I even sitting there. Just yeah. watching him, I, just, I could only catch half of his friggin' words. Yeah, I just want to watch him play with that thing. I, I'm All not, day. I don't care. I want to play with that Clip thing. It. <laughs> I want to play with that myself. A few people, a few people have pointed out that CIG is probably only a couple steps from releasing a 4K game if they felt like yes. It. Or that 4X, that mean, whole system yeah. is so close TVs. to a 4X and to a fantastic <laughs> 4X too. Like full simulated economy 4X with the spaceships of Star Citizen and you can have it them all because awesome. you wouldn't you wouldn't need the interior models, you'd just need the exterior models which they've got most of into my gear holes. Um I want it really bad really bad. But, but it, it Makes sense. Like when when they showed live player data, that just exploded my brain. Yeah, I was like, oh, and it, it oh. wasn't and it wasn't for one server either. It was across the entirety the of the game. This is this is what the GMs are gonna use. Yeah, yeah, of course. To do in-game events and things, they're just gonna, they're be, gonna like, be like, hey, what if, what if there were a thousand pirates? Yeah. <laughs> We drop should, a couple you know what? Krakens on top of Crusader. Let's see Test, what happens. Test is is getting two up in their britches. Let's just drop ten thousand Vandal on them. Oh, done. Just, uh -huh. just that'd be a that'd be a bloody day. On the server. Just just because it's, just because they're uh, Test, do it. Um, it's so good. I, I want to talk a bit about some of the panels, but um, Nakara. Hi. From from someone who was there, in person, soaking it in. Uh, how how much? Like, what do you smell of after the con? What do I smell of? Yeah, were you soaked you it able, all in. Were you able to get food easily? That's Actually, the true mark. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna do the smell of thing because I, I I don't know. We're what, ignoring. I don't it. I don't know what I don't know what incredible taste. Or I like. I would ignore um, me too. Anyway, I'm going to talk more about the venue since nobody else really got to see that, um, unless you were there. Uh, so a couple a couple things I really wanted to point out and give shout outs for. Uh, we were we were standing outside in Manchester, and CIG came out and gave away probably I don't know several hundred uh, free umbrellas, the Star Citizen branded umbrellas. Nice. Um, everybody, and which was nice because then it started to rain. <laughs> um, and also, when we left CitizenCon at the end, it was pouring rain, so that was very nice. They're in the they, UK. They're ready. Yeah, but they didn't They're have to get. They didn't, they didn't have to give everybody free umbrellas that were actually like branded That's true. citizen things. Um, next up, uh, go inside. We kind of there's a guest book you could sign. But there was this huge lineup for it, so we just went in. <laughs> um, um, saw the Pisces um, display, which is really cool. They had one of those like light up glass things that you can see through, and had all the stats on it and the blueprint of the uh, Pisces. I love the Pisces. Um, it's the it's a shuttlecraft. It's it's a Star Trek shuttlecraft. Yeah, totally. That's yep. the that's the deal. Um, and it's on the Carrick, which is a perfect place for it. Yeah. Um, okay. And then you walk down this really long hallway, and they had done floor to ceiling, um, like basically similar to like vinyls, but the, and they were just all like 
Aegis. It was an Aegis hallway. There were ships everywhere on the walls. It was really cool. Um, and keep in mind, keep in mind, Florida ceiling was like twenty feet. So there's huge Question. murals. They are vinyls. Were there bubbles? No. Man. And they weren't. They I weren't really. There were so many of those things, and there's always one bubble every time. Always. I'm sure there is somewhere. There was somewhere that wasn't visible given the size of the. Um, oh my god. But uh, anyway, so you walked through there. There was the main stage, but it was closed off. We went through. We saw the, the we saw the theaters of war booth right away, and we were like, "What the hell is that?" Um, <laughs> Did you try it? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, you had to. We didn't want to miss panels, but you had to miss panels to do it. Fair. So, um, and it's coming. They said out it's soon. coming like real January, soon. January next February. year. Yeah. Um. So anyway, then came the Not real like trying to get it ready for. Then uh, came the real two. shock and awe moment because we had no hint of a clue that this was happening. You walk after you walk past theaters of war, you walk into the market, which is set up exactly like a bazaar from one of the in-game markets, and it looked like amazing, jaw-dropping. Now, you what did said you it eat? Bazaar. <laughs> hmm? What's up? You should have said it looked bazaar. Well, that is true. It did. Uh, so all the boot, all of the official CIG stuff was branded. It was pretty cool. So there was like the G Lock bar and the. And Big Benny's and Torpedo Burrito and so on and so forth. Even what the um, even the coffee stand was was a branded Star Citizen coffee stand. Starbucks. <clears throat> um, <laughs> no, it was like Ellard's or something. I can't remember exactly. I have I have a picture of it. Um, but uh, the probably the best improvement over Austin was in terms of like the event was that they did have more than enough food there were no lines to wait for food awesome um, good they had tons of drinks they had <laughs> even at the end of the event i was over there and they still had tons of food and drinks left over like it was easy it i was i easy. think they probably realized what a bit of a cluster it was from uh austin yeah, it was. running austin out of food was a, austin was a mess yeah uh, in terms of that anyway um so would you say that this year they used their noodle? Yes. Both literally and figuratively. Good. <laughs> so, um, beyond that, um, mood there was really good. People were uh, generally very impressed with what they were doing, what they were putting on. Um, we went into uh, the main stage. Something you may not have noticed from the, <laughs> uh, from the stream. Um at least at the beginning, they uh, managed to blind everybody in the back, like two thirds of the uh, auditorium. Um, they had like bright blue lights shining in your eyes. Mm, um, nice. Nice. <laughs> also, um, somebody there is very proud of their sound system. Uh, is yeah, I could like feel my shirt moving on my <laughs> body as the bass nice. just hit me in waves. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but it was uh, it was great. We leapfrogged forward, and we actually ended up uh, sitting pretty close to the front for most of the day. It was fantastic to be there. Um, Good, and, and you know the general mood around was everyone was really happy with what was shown. So, so I want to talk. People kind of lost their shit when Tony Z was talking. I, I kind of want to talk cool. a couple of the things that we saw just as a quick uh, uh, refresher of some of the things that we saw. Um, and I want some quick thoughts from you guys on them as we go through. But uh, those cloth physics. Yeah, that was real good and a huge and welcome surprise. Shiver, I don't think we you saw, saw that. that in person. You didn't no, saw I that saw one that. last year. I, oh, I you did? I saw that play out in the live demo yeah yeah okay good yeah it's that... it's quite good because you, usually when games do that it's fabricated <sighs> not this time boys Ooh. okay shiver you're on a tear oh come on that one had you in stitches oh get out <laughs> um <laughs> uh, what was i talking about here 
V4 landing tech. Uh, not I assume landing. that's planet. planet. Planet tech. Uh, th um, these are all notes yeah. from last week, so I think I was um, drunk? dead. Hmm. Dead and drunk. That's all right, can we, can we just talk about the jump point, please? No, no, I've got my list to go through. No, that's, that's at the end, man. It's the end. That, that's no. the end of the list. Not that's the, the best part. Uh, I want, I, I want to know from CIG whether or not climbing and repelling and shit from the like from the carrot commercial is going to be well, in the game. Sure, they sure hinted at it. It <clears throat> after after showing it in that carrot commercial, it friggin' better be. Also, you notice that they. I mean, it wasn't the same type of climbing but you notice in the demo at the end they did a lot of uh vaulting or a lot of climbing up over things yeah but that's the the silly kind of climbing i want like actual you know i know um he wants to be a kitten when he grows up yeah <laughs> uh food is a requirement <laughs> yep oh yeah i mean that it's just the same thing i missed that before. in the thing tell me about this uh, same as stresses before. me potentially we we have almost no information but they confirm yeah. uh, basically all they said was that you need to eat and they said that it won't be strenuous it's not going to be like every hour kind of thing but you will have to uh -huh. eat and there's no more details than that and that's basically what they've said before it's just that you it can include like you have supplies on your ship so you can eat but i'm not sure if it's can or need to but we need to wait for that I they, didn't, uh, they, they need the whole next stage of the uh, player actor status system or whatever it's called um i think it's only really going to become urgent when you are stranded on a planet yeah that's that's what we're hoping for anyway uh, theaters of war. Yeah, uh, I think this was a masterstroke by Sean Tracy and CIG. Very smart, and by all accounts, it played really well. It's yeah, I find it kind of interesting because it's theaters of war being its own thing that will play well and be an interesting game on its own is kind of something we were supposed to have ages and ages and ages ago when, uh... Oh, crap, what was their names? Ilphonic. Ilphonic. Like, that's what they were supposed to be doing, right? They were supposed to be taking... They were making... Not, they were supposed to make what yeah. they made. Like, yeah, what they, they the, did the successfully complete there. it, yeah. The problem was that Star Citizen Advance, whereas Ilphonic, the Didn't. one they were given... Yeah, but we were so supposed to get, like, Seda Ball on its own and more stuff to do while the main game is taking forever. And it seems like with Theaters of War, we're kind of going to get that. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that's why they did it. No, we just... They mm. needed it. It's a, it's a nice bonus to have an actual game. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they're... Yeah. What, what they're... Saying, yeah. There's no point to it other than to fucking enjoy it, really. What they're saying is, and they kind of got this feeling right from the beginning, is that they they need to test combat better, um, but they can't really do it in the PU because it doesn't happen often enough. Not on that scale, not with not like mixed combat with all the different types of, you know, infantry and vehicles and ships and everything. Yeah, and. Um, because they have, I mean, eventually squadrons coming out, um, and it needs the combat needs to be pretty nailed down. But to to counter what you're saying, Heavy Bob, because you've got a valid point there. It's not the usual approach for this kind of game. However, Armor has successfully pulled it off, but it is in the majority. So you're not wrong with your assertion, but obviously, we here, are fingers crossed hoping it's going to be a fun version of it rather than one of the... I mean, let's let's be realistic here. One of the most important things about Theaters of War is that we haven't had a good Battlefield game in, like, 10 years, so... 2,142 years. Yeah. 
So we're finally going to get a good Battlefield game, uh, even if it's in Star Citizen. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, and then... Uh, Tony Z's entire bloody presentation. The it wasn't that bloody. It, I mean, there was a lot of simulated death going on. That is true. Um, is the stream audio level low? I don't know. It shouldn't be. It might be, but it shouldn't be. Does anyone else have audio problems, or is it just Mick Wabbit there? Um. <laughs> So, Nakara, you are our numbers person. And we're going to get into numbers for hey. Star Citizen shortly. What? You forgot the last part of the whole thing. No, I'm getting to Tony Z. I haven't oh. hit the last th part thing yet. We already yet. talked about Tony Z. No, I want to know what he thinks of the whole economy, it cannot, it cannot, it, the, the simulation. The money side of things. I. What do you think of the money side of things? Um. I think simply put, it is it basically we've heard Tony Z talk about exactly what he showed for the last whatever how many years he's been working on the project five years or so. And he's never really varied or wavered in his vision at all. It's always, that's that's it. And then he went, you know, I've spent the last seven or nine months writing this thing on my own, and then here it is. <laughs> um, and uh, it's basically exactly what they need. It is um, a full back-end simulation without... Um, Without needing to spawn those entities into the actual game universe, because that would destroy every server, and you know, uh, or more to the point, it would make players' lives miserable. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was just brilliant, um, and exactly what he has talked about. If we just got to actually see it, and uh, when they tie that into the game servers, it's gonna be pretty cool. <clears throat> Okay, Jake. Yeah. I'm letting you loose. Uh oh. Like, do, do you people understand? <laughs> All that's the that's good, Jake. That's good, Jake. Start with the you people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> great. Thanks for that one. You're welcome. Do you people understand <laughs> the amount of systems simultaneously working at the, all at the same time to make that last keynote demo happen? Mm -hmm. Seven. <laughs> it's probably something like seven. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, no, they uh... opens with yo. Guess what? This demo, we're running socks. Coming next patch. I'm still waiting for my sock socks. I want sock socks for Christmas. Yeah, I also want sock socks. CIG, listen. If if one of y'all is listening to this right now, April Fool's Day, 2020, make socks socks for sale. But actually, for sale, we will buy them. Yep. Pull pull. Uh, what was it? Think Geek. They'd make ridiculous things and then put them up for sale anyway. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> socks, socks. Go Sun for it, Jake. I know you're not done. Uh, jump points? It looks really gross, but I kind of love it. <laughs> like, it, it looks organic in a very strange it's, way. It's bleeding. Like, it's, it's like yeah. you're a blood cell getting pumped through a uh, aorta which is funny that's always been there that's always been their thought they were uh, talking about how they wanted it to be biological and i love it weird like that and alive and then they can i i, I do have thoughts on jump on jump points so 
Uh -oh. Let me forget. Okay, uh, what are your thoughts? Okay. Well, well, I'm here. We're here. We're talking about it. Do it. it. Go. Yeah, go. I didn't know if Jake had finished is all. No, no, we'll keep going, but go ahead. All right, I, I'm, I'm not impressed. Well, I'm not as impressed with the jump points as I, as I thought I would be. Why I'm, is that? I'm going to get hung and burned for this. I don't, I don't <laughs> like the way that they work, basically. I, I was hoping, I, I'm, 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 I don't like the fact that it's easy to just i i could just sit there not press a fucking button and it's gonna take me through it's no, not they nope. said that you can't nope they yeah. said, it looked, said this in the stream it looked very arcadey to me and look, i'm like what watch right. watch the presentation again and look at her face while she's flying it's yeah all right it's she constantly was, uh, pushing you towards the edge while it's pushing you forward <laughs> she was okay uh, well, I, and obviously i haven't played it and she was I don't know. Out trying just... to make it through the jump points. And I was fucking knackered watching it. So my what what I perceived could be way off mark. But I I got watching it the impression it was a little arcadey and a little bit. Really? I don't um, think it's done. That's it. But well, also, on, can, I, can I just clarify? Yeah. Yes, you do have to navigate your way through and fly yeah. your way through. Okay. Okay. Um, that's they 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 um, said it. They, they said it they in said. the presentation that if you do hit the wall, you can be thrown out of the jump point entirely into the middle of nowhere. And good luck. Die. Yep. Yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> so you do, you do have to pay attention to the jump points and fly your way through. Uh, how difficult it is, that remains to be seen. Some of that will probably be, you will be able to buy jump point, like, data. And we were looking at it from a third person point yeah. of view as well, which is not how Star Citizen builds itself, is it? It's the no, first no. damn space universe, big bollock, you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh -huh. Big bollocks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the jump point was cool. The pyro it, it system. Looked, it looked lovely. The pyro system oh. looked gorgeous. Ah. Oh. Just the, the, the chunks of atmosphere or of asteroid like burning up in the distance. Yeah. Oh, yep. It looked so good. Um, yeah. And then they're like, oh, yeah, it's coming. Also, in six months. Uh, I've been predicting Pyro as the next system for about three or four years now. Yes. So. Yep. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Also, we um, collectively uh, uh, predicted that uh, jump points were going to be at CitizenCon this year. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can I, can I just say, Heavy Bob and I love you to bits, and you, you can take this however you want. Most people know my humor. It's all fake. It's a game. It's a video <laughs> game, my dude. <laughs> uh, I know what you're going to say to me. Guess yeah, what? That's, that's literally every press presentation ever. Obviously, they fake some things as a proof of concept. That's how it works. Wait, wait, wait. Heavy Bob. You mean, you mean that, that that snowstorm wasn't if just was random done, and dynamic? If it was done, they would have released it? You know? Wait, you mean, you mean those AI that were wandering the place weren't, like, turned off so that they couldn't notice the person? Oh... Oh. Because it would ruin everything if they did see the person. Madness. <laughs> Madness. Um. The sort of sad that we didn't get a squadron update at all. Hey, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta at least say this. I'm pretty sure I said it on the show. Um. A couple of weeks before Citizen Con, then I had a weird feeling that we weren't going to hear anything about Squadron at all. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> no, hey, no. we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. <clears throat> um, I think <sighs> they basically went, yeah, it'll be there next year. Yep. Um, so since uh, Citizen Con, basically what they've been running is the IAE, the International Aeros, mm. whatever. Intergalactic, intergalactic, interstellar, planetary, planetary intergalactic. Beach a yeah. shiver. That's right. You were thinking it. We were all uh, thinking it. 
Uh, but during the IAE, they've been selling some ships. Have they? I don't know. You tell us. How many ships have they been selling, Eric, during this IAE? I can't tell you how many ships have been selling. Twelve! <laughs> I can tell you how much money they've made. How much money have they made? And are they on track for the year? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, this is just absolutely destroying all of their records. Um, so... Oh, and also, while you look that made. up, uh, yeah. Sunshine was talking in chat about the pine trees, and yes, those pine trees looked fantastic. The, okay, Citizen Tiberia, why do we have a Miss Universe competition, huh? Are we inviting the whole universe? Nobody showed up. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I need it needed to be said. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh yeah as of right now in the last seven days they've made 7.77 7 million dollars jesus that's a couple bucks and in the last day actually in the last 25 hours they've made a little over 2 million wow um most of that thanks to the javelin idris and privateer which were all all been on sale. Um, yeah. Sorry, the Kraken Privateer is what I so mean in this particular case, the, and the, the Kraken itself. The Kraken Privateer. I just I just want to point this out because uh, before right before we started this show, I was having a fantastic laugh. It was just a like one of those rich, full bodied guffaws. Um, oh, a guffaw! It was a guffaw. Uh, how much? How much was the uh, the Kraken privateer selling for? Yeah. So, uh, without um, yeah, it was two thousand uh, dollars without Warbond. <laughs> well, as much as that. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost three. I know. Oh, I just. Whew. Out, out of interest, do you at least get a PNG instead of a JPEG? No. Well, fuck. Um, and seventeen hundred dollars. Uh, Warbond. That's like six months of baby food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's like three yeah. trips to the cinema with popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> and they wonder why no one goes to the fucking cinema anymore commander lama's got a point do i want a new pc top of the line or one star citizenship well some people have chosen the star citizenship apparently yep hey man um, um, yeah don't judge yeah, but, i'm not judging i'm just yeah, it, 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 it's a different kind of person. If someone is seriously sat there thinking, oh, you know what? I'm pretty tempted by that. That seems like, yeah, I could spend that money. That they're earning money that we could be all like, yeah. What do you do for a living? And how do I, uh, how do do I kill you and steal your path? position? Oh, that too. Can I kill you and steal your skin? Yes. So as far as I can tell, um, that was this kind of why I missed Citizen Con. Um, the environmental suit, which is a camouflage suit, didn't work. And my lizard suit, I couldn't, it was too cold. And <laughs> lizards in the cold couldn't survive. So I had to go back and sit under a hot lamp. Fair enough. Makes sense. Uh, Sorry, as far Eric. as I can tell, this is already the most successful sale they've ever had. Yep. Uh, and it goes on for another six days. Um... Another yeah. six to December 5th. Wow. And then after that, after that, the Argo uh, min Miner goes on sale right after That's, that. That is going I'm, to. I am hyped for the mole, boys. That mole is going to sell like uh, hot jakes. Um, I still, I still. They're like cakes, but you... they're, they're Jake. 
I'm I'm a little missed that you can't mine from the pilot seat. Meh. Meh. Uh, do, okay, we got a couple questions, but uh, ask us some more questions before we get to questions. So, um, do you think that they're going to make? Are they going to beat last year? Yes. At this oh, yeah. rate, yeah. Uh, they need to make another $1.9 million in the entire month of December. So it's touch and go is what you're telling me. No, it's not. <laughs> so they might, it's, it's possible that they won't make it. It's what you're telling me. Uh, it's going to be close on some definitions of possible. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what you're telling me is in is that once again star citizen is in no danger of losing all of its funding and and having no money and drying up and failing no yeah. and cool. i mean this this is likely unless things go off the rails in december it's likely going to be the first year they've ever hit 40 million dollars in funding and that's, that's without good. subscriptions and stuff and 70 pound T-shirts, yeah, oh. as in, uh, not T-shirts. Um, button up. I was. I am so angry about so, that button up. I so want that button up so badly. Have Have any of you guys been to like a a not like Cole's TJ Maxx level yes. clothing store yes. recently in the last like two years? Yes, they're the same price. Not for not for short sleeve. Generally, uh, short sleeves. Some of us or... have never walked in such stores. Thank you, sir. Generally, the short sleeves are cheaper, and they are selling short sleeve. The short sleeve is too expensive. And you should come to the United States sometime and see. <laughs> Jake, just everything is just... more expensive in Canada. Everything. Uh, apparently not. From what you're saying, Jake, I'm wearing a uh... bow tie. I wear nice clothing. I know the price of nice clothing. <laughs> Out of all of us that, here. Um, that, that bow tie, how long did that take you to uh, tie up? Uh, fun fact. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a self-tie bow tie? Guess what? You can't actually get one in stores. You have to order them online. It's virtually impossible to find one. Pisses me off. Self-tie. Self-tie. A bow tie? Something you like have you to press tie a button and it yourself. Goes... No, you no. have to tie it yourself. That's you mean you a bow tie? Yes. Instead of a clip-on bow tie. <laughs> anyway. It's not a clip-on. Clip-on clip If I go down to JCPenney, I could find one like right it, now. There's, there's a self-tie and a pre-tie. This is, oh. unfortunately, a pre-tied bow tie. I agree with Koala. I'm just glad <laughs> Fez is gone. I mean, I can go get it. Oh, no, you look like Tommy Cooper. Who? Oh, I mean, he was amazing. But, yeah, he was a magician, comedian, British, amazing guy. War Fez. Hilarious. <coughs> Hilarious. That sounds exactly like me. No, he was actually funny yeah like me <laughs> and did magic like me oh god i wish you did magic <laughs> i'd hire you for children's parties in an instant <laughs> i'll pimp you out for children's <laughs> parties to be honest uh okay anything else we want to cover before we get into questions uh, when when are we expecting regular CIG content to return? Next year? January. January, yeah. eh? Yeah. I don't really know, but I wouldn't really expect anything. Well, there should be something in December. It's not out yet. Are we going to just run this all the way through, or are we going to take a break in December to uh, while there's no nothing for us to talk about? I mean, we could I just talk about Star Wars. We could do a Star Wars podcast. I'm down Good. for that. Okay. Um, I think we'll we probably... could do a recap podcast. We'll probably miss at least one, I would imagine. Probably. But 
it remember, depends if they if they basically call a halt now until the end of january for you know content it might be hard for us to go all the way through <laughs> we'll be all end up singing and dancing on this show <laughs> Oh, I could, or I could, I could do a magic show, or rehashing Citizen Con <laughs> for like. Uh, yeah, actually, Sunshine's got months. a good point. When they do finally release the B stage stuff, uh, we should do some some watching through of that because well, we also need to rewatch all the stuff we did watch because a lot of it didn't really stick in my brain. Uh, David didn't answer your question, Sunjammer. It hasn't been posted yet. Yeah, no, sorry. it has not been posted yet. Also, it's... what the hell, CIG? They said a couple days. It's been seven. One seven week. is more than a couple. It's been. They didn't one say week which since you planet me. days. Touched your head to the side and said, I'm crazy. No. Five days is the afternoon. No. Five days is the afternoon. No. No. I fucking would love to do that. <laughs> We'd have a giggle. We'd have a giggle. Chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drum stick and your brain starts sticking. Watch your next files with the lights on. From the maze on. Lola Bounce. Help me. Kill me. I hope I'd rather the watch the cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jay Lee made that entertaining. Yeah. He's hilarious. Uh, all right, let's do questions. Open it up. I've got an open. A lot of questions. Not Dave asks, "Where's Dave?" Dave's not here, man. Yep, that's the answer. Okay, what's the next question? Uh, Captain Penis asks nice. or says, "I don't know yet." With CIG, which CIG dev that we haven't heard from? in a while would you like to hear more from i'm a bit of an aaron fan myself but we haven't heard much of him over the past couple of years he's a busy boy um i want like a three hour in-depth interview with brian chambers i is in tiburu we have uh big ship battles right now people doing it have you seen the hammerhead battles that people have been doing? It's awesome. You too, man. Awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I, I really miss Ben. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see him on anymore. I know. But I just, they did give him a big shout out they uh, did. during the Gal Galactopedia presentation for writing a bunch of the uh, entries. Yeah. I, was, I was glad that they did also, that because I miss Ben. The Galactopedia is out. Oh, yeah. We forgot oh, to talk yeah. about that. Ross Tregenza. Whoa, there's I, a... I there's a name. <laughs> That's a name, yeah. And Melissa Estrada. Oh, well, yeah, of, of course. course. Ross Tregenza, because I, I, unless you're all just being polite, he, he did uh, the Big Benny's theme tune and a few of the music, and he used to be in a group called Goteki. He was great. And he's a really, really nice guy. And I just... How do you make music for the future for a game to, that's, I mean, I know this is a niche interview and stuff, but that's <laughs> fucking interesting to those of us into that. Mm -hmm. um, Fastcart asks, or says, Fastcart is crying after seeing the Kraken Privateer. He hopes the bazaar in the Battle Merchantman is similar. Do you know how long they lasted before being sold out? Oh, the, the Privateer? Yeah. Um... What they're seconds. saying, what they're saying on uh, on Reddit is that it was just like moments, a few moments, and they were gone. Um, also, I wanted to actually mention, isn't it fascinating that they now have? Well, I mean, the merchantman was going to have it, but now we have two ships that are going to have uh, basically shopping malls on board. I'm very curious to see what that gameplay is like. Like I'm interested. The owner of the ship. I'm I'm interested now in, like that was supposed to be the merchantman's niche, but it sort of seems like the three thousand um, dollar, Kraken privateer, 
will likely be better at it than the merchantman. So because it's better? twice you know? the size. I know. How do you know it's, how do you know it's better though? Merchantman's I mean, not bigger twice... doesn't mean better. It's twice the size. Yeah, define, star define better. Yeah, define better. More shops. Better. More shops. Well, and landing space, uh, landing like people can land on it. Okay. Whereas the merchantman has to land conversely, somewhere. Conversely, conversely, the merchantman is probably just as armed, and also oh, yeah. a lot faster. It's also a lot less expensive. <laughs> it is. I'm um, I'm waiting. What I'm, I'm trying to say is I'm waiting to see how much the merchantman grows when they finally like. You know what's a fascinating part about the Kraken Privateer? I definitely see it as CIG's answer to uh, pirates don't have anywhere to shop. Yeah. Because they once they're wanted level sign up, they won't be able to go to a lot of places. And I think it, it's really interesting to offer uh, players the opportunity to create the create those areas, but also, of course, um, NPCs can use the, the Kraken Privateer as well. So it'd be kind of interesting gameplay for pirates to you know just be wandering around and have oh there's a market i can go and buy shit <laughs> uh model 315p has the next question i've been thinking about purchasing a land vehicle during this iae sale should i go with something that's currently available in games such as the tumbrel cyclone or should i pick up the new cyber truck concept <laughs> even though it's still several patches away from release I want a si I like the Cybertruck. I hate Me trucks, too. and I like the Cybertruck. Um, Cybertruck. Uh, grab yourself a tumbrel. <laughs> if you're actually asking, it's a pretty good reference, though. I liked it. Also, the Cybertruck should be in Star Citizen. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Fastcart asks, "How many pages of text do you think Tony Z goes through in his presentation? Does he read at one point two five or one point five speed? I'd say like fourteen times speed. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. He talks real fast and gets so much information out so fast. I uh, so I was like extremely jet lagged and." Uh, I had to really force myself to pay attention during that presentation because he had to really listen to what he was saying. And uh, yeah, that was that was the most challenging one for me to make sure my brain actually could wrap my wrap itself around what he was talking about. Jake, you managed my mischief. Yeah. Yes. Sure. To take in Tony Z's presentation. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah, for the most part, as much as one can understand Tony Z, <laughs> he he speaks on a different plane of existence. I will say, I at, at, at the very end of that stream, after all those hours, it was difficult. Quanta sounds like uh, the new uh, uh, currency that you have to grind in World of Warcraft to get your tier pieces. <sighs> the French people chatting in the row behind you? I mean, that's just like Tony the said. Tony said is this phenomenon because you can put him at, listen to him at normal speed and it, he just comes across knowing exactly what he's talking about and it's a genius thing. You put it at half speed and it sounds like a stoner. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Yeah. But you have to to transcribe him. Uh, Fastcart asks, do Quanta dream of electric sheep? Yes. yes. But they're alien sheep, though. Aramis asks, uh, did you all buy your Ship Expo merch for 820 UEC apiece? Nope. Uh, no. Nope. I did go to the, uh, to the thing. I went and checked it out. Um, way better than last year. Uh, because last year's ship expo was just like a big warehouse. This this actually felt like uh, it if there was like booths and stuff. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Are there like well people done walking around? Yeah. Oh yeah, NPCs running around doing their thing. Uh, listen, 
they have upped the uh, the dynamic animations for NPCs. Um, cause I walked up to one and he, he, he like didn't even move. Right. Like didn't even acknowledge that I was standing directly in front of him. I'm like, huh, NPCs. Huh. And then I see his eyes just look at me and then, <laughs> and, then and then he does, he does one of the, does a, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's really simple it thing to awesome. do, but it it's like, oh, it's awesome. like a. Sup. Sup. Yeah. It's good. Uh, <laughs> Fastcart asks uh, Jake if your butt's recovered from last week. No. Absolutely not. Permanent damage. <laughs> Is this because it's got a crack in it? Yeah. 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 Uh, Fastcart also yeah. asks... Uh, with the current cold front, are you shivering like that character from the presentation? Okay, uh, Nakara, I have you with me. You're a Canadian like me. You understand cold temperatures. I've got some... Uh, I wasn't going to mention this, but I've got some fucking beef over that snowstorm. So they were saying it's like minus 110 degrees. One... You cannot last five minutes in a minus 110 degrees. Not even sure you can breathe in... Sorry, go ahead, Nakara. couple things. <clears throat> First of all, it was two minutes. Second of all, it was... No, it was five. Um, the timer on the bottom says fi said five. Oh, cool. Um, secondly, it was... Uh, they mentioned it was apparent temperature, so it's taking into account the wind. Okay. Um, That's wind chill. My other, so I've got more complaints. Um, pure, pure temperature, 100, 100, minus 100 something. Then if you added the wind on top, you'd be dead in like. Well, that's, that's my point. Like it's, it was too cold. Uh, and he's walking around with like a hand in front of his face. You would never do that. Your hands would be in your pockets because they're the things that freeze first. Mm -hmm. And your um, head would be down. Your head would be down and your hands would be in your pockets. Also, his hands would have been frozen and he's using them to grab onto like rocky ledges and pull himself up. Anyone who's done anything in the cold with hands Ugh. knows that your hands would be dead. They would be torn to shreds. Um, also, when he finally like was shivering and he put on the helmet and he goes outside and there starts being condensation on the outside of the helmet, that would not happen. The, the snow would hit that helmet screen and it would fuck right off. It wouldn't draw, uh, melt and, and pers perspirate on the helmet. It depends, on, it, depends how, uh, it depends how it depends how how warm it is inside the helmet. Out of all the things in this game that break, you know, a fair few rules of physics <laughs> and biology, everything, that's that's your line. That's your line in the snow, is it? This, this is your Canadian coming out. Look, Look do you know how many games about to be these fucking storms, all right? No, 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 you no. You can approach the speed of light. That's fine. But you fuck around with fucking fingers in a fucking storm, CIG. Shiver. And we're going to have fucking Shiver. words. Do you have any idea how many games in have gotten... In this house, we obey the basic laws of thermodynamics. Do you have any idea how many games have gotten snow right? Because the list is like one long, and it's the long dark. Look, okay, there's I, I no actually, business like I snow business. There's no business I snow. I actually, the long dark does a good job, but I actually think the most perfect I've seen it is RDR2. The snow is good in RDR2, but there's no, you don't suffer really. I mean, I guess you do suffer a little Ooh, bit. Yeah, but you can get cold. Yeah. yeah. I, it's just so few games do snow well. And it's like, I know that there's no snow in the UK or Texas or California or Germany, which is all of the places that Star Citizen is being developed. But maybe they should talk to Turbulent. Hey. There's snow here. Where? Every couple of years or so. Yeah. How much? Like four or five inches. Oh, wow. four or five inches. Are you guys okay? Oh, so I, I, do, I, wait, wait. Do you guys, do you guys I, have to, I, do you guys I, have I, to call I, the National I, Guard? I, 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 Listen. Are we gatekeeping... 
snow right now. Actually, that, 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 David is. Yes. No, that was that was actually a uh, a thinly veiled jab at Toronto, who they got like four inches of snow once and called in the army. It, it's a it's a Canadian insult. Sorry, it was a Canadian. Joke. I mean, okay. Germany invented snow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um okay where are we at now okay i'm gonna say based on the entirety of video games they're doing pretty well and especially you know in the live universe they're doing they pretty well i just i got some issues okay can you even replicate what they did um in an actual like in game of us playing it it's gonna be pretty great can I just say snow is? It must be a German invention. They, they looked at it and they go, so is this water? It seems very inefficient. What we want to do is we want to compress it. We want to get more into one area. So what we'll do is we will compress it. We'll have it fall from the sky and it will just go over the land. The land will take what it needs. The runoff goes into the water. The water goes into us. And we get much cleaner water. It's much more efficient way to do evaporation into water. Uh, you, you're all wrong. Uh, Canada invented it because otherwise we'd have nothing to play uh, hockey on. That's ice, not snow. Same thing. Uh, no, scorched Chromecast. It's not. Exactly the same thing. No. <laughs> they invented it to stop the French from invading. <laughs> the French invaded someone? Yes. <laughs> uh, scorched Chromecast asks, what resolution and FPS will Star Citizen run at on Google Stadia while streamed to my phone on the bus? It won't be on Zero. Stadia. But it would be f hilarious. If it was... Place. Whatever your yeah, 60, whatever your phone's like resolution else. is. Uh, Commander Llama asks, "What are the what it's are the bad joke? What are the three to four absolute must-watch videos from CitizenCon? I'm too lazy to watch them all. There are okay. three. Tony Z. One of them's not up yet. Tony, Tony Z, Z isn't up yet, but that is a must-watch. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the opening." keynote and the closing keynote uh yeah. okay those are the gonna, must watches it's gonna add a fourth it would be of the ones i saw it would be micro technicalities which was amazing because pine trees i was in love with pine trees the pine trees is is very good i mean lots of them are good sean tracy's good finding out how they're gonna so, fix the game the um, no i'm sorry the pine trees were phenomenal Yes, they were. Yeah, a little bit of madness. When they finally put the prison stuff up, I'm really excited to see that, but they haven't yet. So I'm going to relate to you guys what Flint told me. Um, so basically their thought was, how do we get all of the assholes out of the game without kicking them out of the game? <laughs> uh, put, put a sail on EVE. Uh, and so that's they just, just lame. Yeah, that that's mean? that's me, David. Jake, have you met me? I'm ninety seven percent lame. <laughs> what about uh, the other three percent? Don't even try. You love me. Um. Anyway, uh, so they basically decided to create um, like a complex prison gameplay system that actually sounds interesting. I'm trying to remember the, all the details of it, but I was very tired at the time. Um, but basically, um, they control prisoners using oxygen. Um, and so basically, you, people don't escape because they don't, they're not given enough oxygen to get away. Um, and you can, and it's sort of like a work camp deal. And uh, if you work, you basically earn rep, and you can eventually, you know, upgrade your stuff and hopefully escape. Um, I definitely need to see the presentation to get better than that, but uh, it sounded pretty interesting. Um, there are a lot of things you can try to shortcut shortcut things, and um, you can. It sounded like there was going to be some interaction with people inside the prison. Um, and also, they said some missions will require you to go to prison to 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 talk to somebody who's in there, um, but, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, I also think that is kind of neat. 
and uh, I, basically they want to they want to make it such that there are that, that people might actually want to do something horrible to somebody so they go to prison so they get to play the that gameplay. I anyway. so Heavy Bob's been saying in in chat that. Yeah, he's uh, about to break a rule. He is. I know. I know you're watching for it. Um, uh, yep. Here, he's, consider this your warning, Heavy Bob. <laughs> uh, he's been saying that, you know, it's it's boring gameplay. It's crappy gameplay. It's, you know, taking people out of the game, which no one wants to do. Um, frankly, I think it's fantastic. Uh, guess what? If you're an asshole in real life, you're either a billionaire or you're in jail. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm completely okay with an MMO that puts dicks in jail. If you're bad and, at it and you get caught. And it makes it interesting. It doesn't just lock them in there for hours and then. Yeah, it's not like you're stuck there with nothing to do. It's okay. You've gone to jail. Get out. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm okay with it. Fastcart asks, who is your favorite uh, cosplay this year during the con? Bagman, fucking Bagman, Bagman. Which Bagman? The Bagman, Bagman, or the, the? What do you mean? There was only the Bagman, Eric. <laughs> Everyone else was a cheap imitation. Bags. All of them were interpretations of Bagman. They just weren't wearing their bags. There was one thing I was disappointed with that would have won it for me. Uh, and yeah, I Bag understand. No, I understand why they couldn't do it. For technicalities, but no one did the fucking helmet flip. Yeah. Oh, you do the helmet problem. flip, yeah. and you get the crowd to shout helmet. You've won that contest. Do it's it. It's true. And, and yeah. Yep. Or come on as a giant lamp. We're crazy. Uh, Commander Llama asks a long one. Give me a second here. We saw he some cool. Says... What? He also says in ch in chat, "I ain't going back to jail." Yes. Anyway. Uh, we saw some cool new great attention to detail mechanics like prisons and jump points from this citizen con, but are you looking forward to more detail on grocery shopping mechanics where you have to grab your cloth physics enabled grocery bags from your player hab, walk oh or drive, no flying allowed to the grocery store in the city, get a week's worth of groceries and haul them back to your hab, then individually stock your hab fridge and pantry. Dude, I, I don't this... even do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I get my groceries delivered like a civilized person. I, I hope this will be the first. I hope this will be the first segment of gameplay that is VR supported. Are you looking forward to that? Are you? P.S. You're all great people. I hope you have a great day. Oh, thanks, llama. I saw some llamas. I saw some llamas in the UK, and I sent them to Commander Llama. That's what you, I do anytime I see a llama or an alpaca, because mm -hmm. they're indistinguishable. It, it's quite funny. I, I can't remember what game I was playing specifically the other day but there was this point and it's the most mundane thing of you know like cleaning something and it's like oh this is pretty cool and then wait hang on i i i used to play games to escape reality now i think it's cool i'm doing the fucking washing up in one what well, it was red dead i was doing the chores <laughs> in red dead and i was like i don't even fucking do the chores at home little why what's going on here and it's weird how when we're playing a game, the most uh -huh. mundane and stupid things are like, oh, yeah, like, look at the fucking Sims, right? <laughs> the crazy the university Sims. Why the fuck would you want to relive university? That was the <laughs> shittiest time of my life. But playing it on the Sims is fucking amazing. <laughs> what is up with us as a species? We're weird. Yes, we are. I think that's probably the best description of us, actually. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, also, um, I would be wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I would be. I would. I would be okay with that level of grocery shopping mechanic, as long as you could, you know, not do that. <laughs> uh, Fastcart asks, "What's your favorite IEE commercial so far this year?" Hmm. Shooting down the Pisces with a ballista, the first one. That was pretty amazing. I haven't really liked either any of them. Uh, 
Well, they they mixed Misk with Argo, completely glossed over Misk, <coughs> and were like, "Here's the Argo," and I was like, "No, f- f- screw off, Argo. I care about Misk." Except, doing Argo's doing giving us the mid-sized mining ship that we've been asking for for a very, very, very long time, fine. yourself included. Fine, have the Argo have its own segment. Don't for, take time for from For its Misk. second ship? Yes! For its second ship? Obviously, it's a big ship. You could do an entire segment on it. Because they can't because they, they, they did. They did. It was at CitizenCon, and we didn't see it because it's on yeah, the other I state. I know. No, I, I seriously, though... Uh, not enough love is is given to the misc ships. They they got shafted. There was no talk at all about the misc ships. It's just like, hey, there's a freelancer. Yeah, you know Look what? at the Argo. There's no new, there's no new misc ships. There's, yeah, there that's a problem. A there time. should be a no, misc ship not. every three weeks. They have well, the yeah, second I'm... most okay. ships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. be. They need next, more. Next. Next year it'll be a huge thing because by David, the probably I will, the, hull, the hulls will be up. David, I will <laughs> never fault your ability to just double down when you're always completely out of your element. <laughs> I double down, and it feels great. I I can tell. Uh, Zach L or wait no, uh, Bach Beauty asks where was Sandy. This is a topic of much uh, curiosity. I'm, my my guess was that she just stayed home with the kids. <laughs> I so well, we, I had a theory because they were in Manchester. They rarely get to go to Manchester. They do have a family. Erin wasn't there either, so yeah. I would imagine go see the family while you can. I I would well, imagine. I would have guessed. I we haven't seen much of Sandy in a bit. Um, I know that years ago now when when i spoke to sandy uh she had talked about how like there are, were other things that she wanted to do in life like she was helping out with star citizen because it was chris's thing and because she loves chris but like she had her own career in modeling and marketing and before star citizen maybe she just went back to doing that a bit i don't know Um, uh, Zach L asks first time here got really interested in this game earlier this week what would you (laughs) say is the best thing for a potential or new player to know if they're getting into it now can I can I be brutally honest yeah it's not going to come out in the next two or three years most likely yeah whatever whatever said it's uh, you're in it for the long haul that's probably the most important thing to know yeah. If you, as long as you're okay with that, that's good. Um, Squadron will probably be up before that, so at least you'll have a game to play sooner. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not like coming out in the next few years. Uh, that said, for the most part, the community is absolutely fantastic. Uh, join up, hang out, ask questions. Pretty much everyone is willing to answer any questions you have. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun and uh, enjoy watching it because we are getting to see something um, something that you don't get to see with most games. You're getting to see how it's it's made, which is is really fun. Um, I also wanted to mention the disclaimer I try to mention to everybody. Also, you're going to see a lot of people with really expensive ships. Don't feel the need to do that if you don't want to. If you really, really, really like your great your heart's greatest desire is to spend a lot of money on star citizen then go ahead but um really all you need is the basic starter packages to also get in. um renting ships is a thing now yeah you can rent yeah. ships in the game so, so just, uh, you don't need do to it. buy nah. super ships uh that said you are coming in at a pretty decent time in the yep, next year time. in the next year or two it seems like there will be some enjoyance to the game uh, a lot more than there was before. So uh, the one, the one thing that I would recommend is um, if you can't get into it like fully right now, try it every patch, Mm -hmm. you know, just when a new patch comes out, when, you know, 
3.9, when those major patches come out, try it out. See if it's gotten to the point that you're happy with it, and then uh, have at her. Also, welcome, Zach, to the most ridiculous community in the world. <clears throat> um, it, is, it, 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 it hasn't been said for a long time, but it's still true that it, it's one of the great, best communities for games. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't got a wide experience, and I'm not trying to, you know, your mileage may vary, but I've had a good time with a lot of everyone. Yeah. Uh, query guy for the Quanta guy. Query query guy for the Quanta guy asks: Did anyone who attended scoop up some Carrick water? What does it taste like? That sounds gross. <laughs> Um, I did not sc- I did not scoop up any Carrick water. I did see it after it had started to melt. Um, that's about all I have to say. I, I'm sure there's somebody. I'm sure there's somebody who tasted Carrick. That's brilliant question. Yep, it is good. <laughs> it's brilliant. Uh, Fastcard asks, "How's Dolback doing? You're all great people, except for Dolback and Shiver. He's fine." <clears throat> He, I don't know how he did it, but he was sick this year again during yeah, Citizen Con. No. He's always sick. Every so, year. What's fu- what's especially funny about that is uh, Citizen Con is a month later than it has ever been. Yeah. <laughs> but he still managed to get sick. <laughs> not done. Right on Citizen right Con. On. It's fantastic. Uh, the real Jax McCleary asks Ares by Crusader 1212 hoax slip up predictions of what it is wrong answers only okay so, oh. so does everyone here know what this is about no yes there was a picture of a whiteboard on twitter oh yeah i saw there that was a thing on the whiteboard that said Ares by Crusader and it had 1212 beside it which is december 12 probably um wrong answers only uh Ares by Crusader, they're going to crash Mars into Crusader in game. <laughs> in game. Yep. Um on December twelfth. I, I was gonna go with uh they're setting up a new load of astrology, and this is the star sign Ares. Okay. Jake, any guesses? Uh I don't know. Uh well, I one it's a new misc ship, the Misc Ares. Uh two uh, since CIG is going to have a planet with snow on it, um, on 12-12, Ares, or Santa Claus, as we know and love him, will be spotted around Crusader, uh, and then slowly make his way over to Microtech for the winter solstice, uh, Santa Claus parade, uh, on the planet's surface. Oh. Um, mm. As to the second part of the question, um, <laughs> or the first part, actually, we didn't really touch on that. Uh, I don't think it's a hoax. Well, I don't know. It could be. I think it's more likely that they did it and realized it was there and just didn't care and wanted to sort of tease the community a little bit. And yes, I do. I wouldn't surprise me to see. Although it does mean that we're going to get, if that is true, we would we would have the Aries and the Argo both going on sale. So do you think it's possible that they were just trying to goat the community into a response? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to kid. Bob. Please. <sighs> <laughs> Help me. Fastcart asks, thoughts on the Mandalorian so far? What is your favorite meme? Mine is Boomer Okay. Uh, it's unbelievable and some of the best Star Wars that's happened maybe ever. Uh, if you like Star Wars and you're not watching it, what's wrong with you? I haven't watched uh, the latest episode yet. I'm going to do that tonight. It's unbelievable. Uh, the, the best meme is I Have Spoken. Yeah. I Have Spoken is fantastic. Nakara, have you watched any of it? Nope. I'm not a Star Wars guy. I'll I'll watch it eventually. It's so much better than most Star Wars. 
as I keep hearing. Shiver, have you watched um, it? I care less about Star Wars than Eric does. I mean, it exists and it's cool. When it comes out, I'll think about watching it, maybe. Is that the highest uh is that the highest rating anything Star Wars related has ever gotten on IMDb? Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh Nice Unless we're talking like individual episodes of Rebels or Clone Wars. Also, yeah, Shiver can't watch it yet, at least legally. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh they yeah, they're not launching it there till like 2027 or something. Like January. Ooh. And it, it's weird because you would have at least thought they could license it like to Netflix or Amazon Prime in the interim because other companies do and they're probably trying to figure out whether or not the UK is going to right. be part of the EU by the time they have to put it out there because it'll need different, like, Disney Plus things. I don't know. I'm just oh, going to blame know? the UK for everything. I'm saying that the UK uh, and Brexit is what has delayed the Mandalorian and Disney Plus from reaching. Hey, that can, that can be EU. what's delayed. Uh, that's can be that can be what's delayed uh, Star Citizen all this time. Oh God. <laughs> in Brexit for that too. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you if you like Star Wars and you uh and or you like uh sci-fi westerns, yeah. You should watch The Mandalorian because that's what it is. Uh Haramis okay. asks, are you going to make directed by John Favreau, who's so. fantastic. Um Haramis asks, are you going to make rewatch Citizen Con events and when? Yes, when CIG post them. Yeah, they're not up yet. Once CIG post the second uh, stage, we'll rewatch them. Uh, that remind. Did I post? I think I posted the whole f 12 hour stream that we did. You so did. that's all up. If you're mad and want to watch us do that but we will do we will rewatch the other ones as well once cig post them nine hours and 28 minutes eh? yeah yeah that's starting uh... at 5 a.m there's a there's a point in the middle there where i just lose my mind <laughs> yeah my mind is completely lost just in the middle <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the middle three hours basically <laughs> You went off the rails for a while? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Carrick asks, tell me more about how I make you feel when I don't show up for Thanksgiving dinner like I promised. Kappa. Uh, I'm glad the Carrick is delayed. Like, I'm glad every ship de gets delayed. Like, I wish the Freelancer was delayed because the longer they're delayed, the better a ship you get. Not only that, but it also gives opportunities for people to say it was too fat. <laughs> Which they are apparently going to take a look at. Are they? Yeah. That's weird. I liked it. Uh, Zach L. asks, how do you guys feel about The Expanse? I don't like it. <gasps> so good. You fucking what? How the... What the... No. No, you're Never. trolling. You Never. have to like that. Never. No. Never. David doesn't have taste, like good taste at all. And he played Fallout 76 for over a year and a half before he finally realized that Bethesda was just milking him for all he was worth. I mean, I never put any money in it, except for the yeah, initial... Yeah, you bought the game! Yeah. <laughs> and then guess for what? For $60! And then guess what? No, no, no. no. For $80! Canadian! No, it's anyway, on sale. Let's get back on topic. And I Expense enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, I don't like Expanse. Easy. The Expanse I, is the best sci-fi that's come out in probably the last. Incorrect. Years. The Mandalorian. Um, uh, no, it's no. The, the Expanse is better than the Mandalorian. Not, uh, even not by much, but it's better. Yeah. The Expanse is you, too. You, no, you have you watched two episodes. Yeah, and they suck. You definitely don't know what you're talking about if you only watched two episodes. Watch the whole thing and then tell me it sucks. But the first two episodes <laughs> suck. They don't suck. They do. I. I was They're all evil. Really We're so I, gritty. I stuck with it. Uh, I st everything I stuck with it is. The whole first series, nah. And I was like, ah, yeah. Hey. Went through halfway through the second series, and I was like, no, fuck it. I've got to rewatch everything that I've missed to get to this point because this is fucking amazing. Yep. 
Everybody needs to realize, hello, everybody in the chat, welcome to Relay. There's several, like, <laughs> foundational things that you need to know about the four people on this, on this cast. I am always right. Uh, number one. No. I am always right. David, David is David, always right. David has... And nothing that Jake says can be heard <laughs> by anyone because I have the power to mute him. Uh and say that I am right in all things at all times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're unmuted, Jake. All right, here's the actual rules. Number one, David has no taste. Number two, I like everything to a fault. Number three, uh, Shiver and I have a very incestuous relationship with Star Wars, or Star Trek, rather. <laughs> and number four, we're not Star Citizen fanboys. We pretty we rag on the game like almost every week so, so often the, those are the established rules of of relay i like uh, you didn't mention anything about me if you, <laughs> because because you're a known quantity i see okay i so, think that you're, you'll find it's pronounced you're the, canadian you're the straight man of this group eric <laughs> oh well that's interesting the rest okay. of us are very happy gross <laughs> um so uh the expense is great and i'm really happy it's coming back in a couple of weeks yep two weeks season four and it got renewed for season five uh thanks to the power of the internet this is what would have happened with firefly if the internet was uh more ubiquitous Powerful. yep yeah um also i gotta give a shout out to uh uh the witcher because i'm quite excited now <gasps> i completely already... forgot they oh all, my god they've already renewed the witcher for a second season they did it like th two weeks ago um fine. <clears throat> i'm i'm excited for uh just like sci-fi and fantasy tv in general the next couple of years uh wheel of time but you're not gonna watch any of it yeah i am no you're not i'm gonna you'll watch, watch the witcher. two episodes you'll watch two episodes and dismiss it as bad <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if if it's right. bad, then yes. Um, Star maybe Trek the expanse Picard's shouldn't have been bad. In two months, it's amazing. Hey. Uh, you should watch more the, of it. So, if you're the only one on the planet who, who I'm not the only one on the planet. Tweeb Tweeb agrees with me. Boom! Your point is busted right there. The, there so there's a difference Tweeb between what wrong. you said. <laughs> so there's a difference oh. between what you said and what Tweeb said. He said he didn't like what it. Is the, yeah, what did you say? I said I hate it, and it sucks. No, you said it's bad. It is. There's, those are two different things. No, they're, they're actually There's the not liking something. No, no, Jake, There's not Jake, liking Jake, something, you and forget, they're saying you, it's bad. Jake, you forget who you're talking to. Yeah, double down, man. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't like it, it's because it's bad. <laughs> Obviously. If it was and good... the end of our show today. If it was good, <laughs> I would have liked it. Uh, Fast Cart's in a legitimate love child asks, "How do you feel mm. about the Warband CPU upgrades?" What? I'm still trying to work out the name of the question. What was what? the question? the The name of the question was Fast Cart's illegitimate love child. The question was, "How do you feel about the Warband CCU upgrades?" That's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, we it's like everything else. Pretty much know what it's all about. Yeah, it's just been the way it is for a while. Uh, uh, the last one is from The Expanse, uh, and it is saying, "You're a bad man, David. I do not appreciate you talking about talking to me about talking to me that way." And I don't appreciate you, fictional mm -hmm. uh, TV series, uh, not being as good as you should have been. Uh, get better. Sincerely, me. Dude, this they just did got get really better. You just didn't watch better. it. Well, they should have gotten better on the first episode. Did you yeah. just did you just break the fifth wall for the expanse? <laughs> hey, hey, David, I watched an episode of Dirk Gently, and I really didn't like it. That's too bad. Yeah, one episode. Yeah, that's and I fine. just bounced out. Did you? It's bad. It's kind of the worst. It's funny because I I'm pretty sure you watched it all and loved it. No, I didn't. Didn't you? No. Oh no, I'm thinking about someone at work. That's fine. It's not for everyone. 
Uh, there was this ooh. time I killed a person. And see, great. see that, Jake? See that, it. Jake? I'm not, I'm not expressing an opinion, though. See I'm that, Jake? The fact that it, it is bad. Yeah, and if you think it is, that's fine. I accept that you think it's bad. We actually have an actual... We have an actual... See how that works, Jake? Places. No. Ooh. Just watch the life disappear from his eye. Uh, I'm going to actually answer the next question. Um, unless we're already out. Uh, we're not out yet. We've got two minutes left. Um, so, number one <laughs> asks, is it better to get an Endeavor or wait until they have, like, science and agricultural hubs to buy for your plots? Um, the second one. Actually, no, the first one. You... Well, I mean, I know you're going to tell everyone to get an Endeavor, but um, just, I mean, it's one of those things. Keep in mind that the Endeavor is probably not going to be out until... 2025 it's gonna be one of the last ships to be made because its gameplay is so broad um so just keep in mind that uh, i think that's the best thing to to uh, understand uh, is it even for sale right now uh, i have no idea but i was just answering the question <laughs> uh, yeah i'm just i want to check because the only th the I mean, only thing i would today. say it is for sale right now uh, the it... only thing I would say when it comes to the Endeavor is like Fastcart says there, uh, it's probably going to go up in price because it's probably going to get bigger. So if you really, really want an Endeavor, that's true. And you money is not an object, get one now before it goes up in price. If you want to do literally anything else that is more productive with your money, anything else. Buy a tea set. Uh, Actually, you know what? You know what? You could get gonna... so much cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to say, for three hundred and fifty dollars, the Endeavor is a freaking steal. For three fifty, it's, it's stupid good. It's gonna be twice that expensive or more when it's actually. It's gonna enough. be a thousand bucks. Yeah, probably. It's so. Uh, it's gonna be enormous. So, yeah. It's gonna have to grow. Like, it has to grow. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Considering uh, it encompasses basically all the gameplay of the entire game in one ship. Oh, and it comes with a 10-year insurance contract now. Right now, just for the IAE. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's it for our show. Uh, we'll see you next week unless uh, CIG release those videos that were promised and then I don't know when we're going to watch them but we will and uh, yeah sooner rather than later sooner rather than later uh, at some we point we can just use them as, like that'll be the podcast yeah we could probably just do that for the next we're gonna have weeks. yeah because we're going to have a lot of, of nothing yep I'm, I would really like to hear from them about whether they're actually going until January. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening and hanging out and watching and all that jazz. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Expanse is bad. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I... hate jazz. I mean, jazz is the worst. <laughs> Do you know what they, you know that, uh, the band in, uh, Star Wars and the Cantina? Yeah. Do you know what kind of music they're playing? What they call that genre? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, just before we go, uh... just before we go, a little bit of madness, a little bit of madness had a question that I want to ask. Uh, the Carrick was, say, 300, he's not sure, then it grew in size and the price went up a lot. Then the size went back down to 125 meters as original, but the price didn't. And now the price has gone up again. Should CIG have done that? Yes, because they told you they were going to do that when the concept came out, like they do every concept. Yep. Also, also the Pisces is now a full-fledged ship and not a snub. Um, it includes a quantum drive, so you're basically getting two ships for the... well included in the package and a rover yep so yeah yep uh there we go like follow subscribe and obey i've been playing too much borderlands 
Uh, we'll <laughs> see you all in the verse next week or whenever the hell. Thanks for watching. It's going to be next week. It's called Jizz. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is called, called Jizz. Goodbye. Jizz hands? <laughs>